this week's episode, episode eight of Swami Says, we're gonna be talking about why you should never burn a bridge, the importance of loving yourself, and why it's very important to write everything down. First small business tip, never burning a bridge. So basically the thing is this, there's a lot of tips that I'm gonna say that are technical tips in terms of starting your business, and there's a lot of tips that are basically uh, emotional tips in terms of how to manage your emotions, your team's emotions, management, variety of things, that's the point. So the thing is this, never burning a bridge, what I mean by that is very self-explanatory. Everyone knows what the hell it means, but not everyone is conscious of ensuring that it happens and goes to additional lengths to ensure that the bridges aren't uh, burned down. Some people might just be like, oh, I don't know whether I can go approach that person or not. No, you better know that you can go approach that person later or not. A lot of the time, people will think that, all right, it doesn't matter whether I have a connection with this guy or not, but or this girl, whatever it might be. Basically, it's not about whether you they are gonna be of importance to you later on. It's about whether they are gonna be of importance to you in terms of the branch of connections that they offer. So you don't know how that is gonna develop over time and that is one thing that you need to be conscious of in the beginning. Never burning a bridge. Um, everyone understands the importance of that within business. It's pretty 101. There's gonna be a lot of times where you think you're not gonna need someone that you do. So it's simple, just don't burn the bridge so you can go approach them later on. You don't know what type of opportunities they'll have. You don't know what type of situation that you're gonna be in later on and things change, things change on a frequent basis. Small business tip number two, love yourself because you have to. Basically within the course of small business, there's gonna be a lot of times you're gonna trip up. There's gonna be a lot of times where people are gonna tell you that you aren't good enough or why you're doing this or this is too much risk. Uh, whatever the hell the reason might be, you're gonna to come to a point where you're gonna to have to love yourself because there's gonna be a ridiculous amount of pressure within actually especially within today's day and age when you're doing a business when you're taking on any endeavor your whole life is broadcasted online and it's important for that to be broadcasted online because that's integral in you succeeding so the pressure that comes from that social sentiment of you putting your life basically in front of everyone is a really it's a huge pressure that any individual has to deal with amongst a variety of other things but the point is this if you don't love yourself there's going to be a million other people that are going to bring you down and if you let them bring you down, you're not gonna be successful in the long run. Don't let anyone get under your skin. And it basically how I kind of sum this up is, everyone thinks that I'm pretty cocky, basically. So this is the situation. And I've always told everyone this who's kind of approached me about it, is there's a difference between cockiness and having a big ego. Cockiness is me berating someone, me disrespecting someone based on their status. But ego is the fact that if you tell me I can't do something, that'll be the last time that you ever say that because it's not gonna, Whatever the hell you say, I'm gonna f you up, basically. But the point is this, that difference right there is that small business tip in a nutshell. Love yourself because you have to. Third small business tip, writing everything down. So we're gonna talk about being conscious in the later episodes and the importance of that, but write everything down from a small business standpoint in terms of additional plans you wanna make, strategy that you see, commercials that you that are relevant to you, that you notice something that you could use, anything that is relevant to your business, write it down. And the importance of writing it down is not the, f well, it's not the fact of writing it down, it's the fact of looking at a consolidation of your ideas once you go out in the real world and obtain other perspective. Is now that you look at these ideas, getting something off the bat, it won't be difficult because that's inspiration in front of your eyes, essentially. Another part of writing it down is essentially mental RAM. There's a lot of things, we talked about mental RAM in the earlier episodes, but there's a million things on an individual's mind on an everyday basis, so write everything down so you can clear more space to put new things within there instead of harboring the same thoughts that you have. You might remember, but that's not the skill. The skill is being able to attain more. On next week's episode, we're gonna talk about being conscious, conscious powered up level, the second level of being conscious, and the vulner vulnerability. On next week's episode, we're gonna talk about being conscious, how to be additionally conscious, and the vulnerability, I can't say that, bro. Vul vulnerability, vulnerability. Vulnerability principle. And, and the vulnerability, You're gonna have to say that for real. That's my tongue, I have a disease. Vulnerability principle. Vulnerab no, I can't. Vulnerab vulnerability. Vulnerability principle. And on next week's episode, we'll be talking about the vulnerability. Bro, I can't.
You got it once. Bo I can't, dude. I'm telling you, it's my tongue. It's a disease. Ankle glossia. For real. My frenulum is attached to the bottom of my tongue. So I can't say like wor words like that fast. Vuln There's no way in hell, bro. Vulnerability? V vulnerability. Vulnerability principle. Vulnerability principle. And on next week's episode, we'll also be talking about the vulnerability, prin vulnerability principle. You got enough. All right, that's good. Jesus.